All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Connor on Shane. So we're gonna go over the market. I'll drop a few top altcoins, you know, that I'm watching, that you know, personally invested in, across a bunch of different narratives. You know, just kind of general overview of everything today. But we got Bitcoin still just doing its thing, and we got the market outside of Bitcoin absolutely dumping yet again you know it's like bitcoin has been ranging around all-time highs for like what two months now but a month and a half but yet altcoins are down 50 60 70 80 90 percent it's absolutely ridiculous but anyways um you know looking at this the whole market sentiment you know people i feel like are still very you know bearish short term because, you know, there's a good chance poten or potential chance that, you know, Bitcoin continues to go lower, you know, because outside of the cycle that we've had so far, you know, we did run up very heavily, very quickly, you know, and a multi-month cool off is it can be kind of expected for right now, you know, and I still think even if we see a little bit lower, just based on Bitcoin itself. And again, I don't know 100% if this is going to happen. It's just, it's something in the cards that everyone should be paying attention to. Worst case, you know, if we do see a dip, we see ranging, you know, as I really do think from now in May into June, into July, into August, into September, you know, we still have a few months here where the market potentially could be very boring still for a while. You know, I'm not saying that, um, you know, we continue just to continue down and continue down and continue down and continue down, you know, over the next few months. You know, there's still a good chance that Bitcoin in this wedge really does break out of this. You know, that's still what I've been waiting for. And a clear breakout, I think, could signal, you know, a continued uptrend in the short term, but... You know, what, this, what also could happen too is it bounces, it finally breaks out, you know, has a pump, and then continues to just pull this kind of move. It almost pulls this right over again. I've seen that play out sometimes, you know, with certain altcoins. You know, they break out of this, but then they continue another trend down because, again, the momentum for the whole market is just still not, you know, fully here yet, so... You know, it's it's hard to predict, you know. No one knows exactly where crypto and Bitcoin is going to go. But obviously everyone has a pretty clear goal that they want to see Bitcoin easily well into new highs at some point by towards the end of this year or into even maybe early next year. You know, at the longer term case and shorter term, you know, we do see Bitcoin break out potentially in the next month, couple months here and really make new highs. You know, that is, those are kind of both bull cases, but again, I'm trying to be level-headed here with everything in the market. You know, as for altcoins, they have been dumping like crazy, like as usual. You know, I feel like especially if you're in a lot of micro caps, you know, they've just not been holding up at all. And it's getting to a point where now I'm really thinking about rebalancing my whole portfolio, getting out of 95% of micro caps even though, you know, a lot of them are down bad, but just rebalancing a portfolio into even stronger projects that I have a lot more faith in, you know, pretty much all my high conviction coins I'm holding and I continue to hold and I plan on continuing to hold, you know, but I still do have a fair share of, you know, random micro caps, low caps, you know, that just have, you know, very like, kind of dust in them to a very small amount. You know, and I'm just kind of holding it, betting on, you know, a lot of these micro caps are really making big moves, you know, like low risk, but potentially high return. But a lot of those have just not been doing anything, you know. But again, this market is, it, it's, you never, ever know where it's going. That is the hardest part with crypto. You know, because even on the daily, though, the RSI does look good. It's kind of chilling out. Uh, let's see what it is on the weekly. All 
Because, I mean, yeah, even on the weekly, it's like the RSI is still pretty heavy, still pretty high up. I, you know, I think that's part of the reason why we're, you know, we're still in a pretty consistent downtrend right now with everything. You know, it was the last time we were very heavily up multiple times in this major range, you know, was the 2021 high before we had a huge correction and another run. You know, I'm expecting it's probably going to do something similar. You know, maybe we do have this kind of run, you know, this bounces and corrects and then has another thing here. And then this eventually just pulls something like this. You know, I, that, personally, I could see that happening easily one more time. And you know, that's kind of what I'm betting on in this entire market, right? But, again, it's, it's hard to know. And, yeah, it's just, it's, it's tough. It's tough to see, you know, a lot of your top conviction bags and even a lot of, like, micro-cap bags, you know, really just continuing to go down, continuing to dump. But, again, you know, a lot of it is just... That's what conviction is, you know, is holding through all these times through the drawdowns minus 20 percent, 50 percent, 70, 80 percent, you know, and this is kind of outside of like even like the top 100 coins. I personally think if you're in like the top layer ones or a bunch of the top 100 coins, like, you, you just got to hold. Like, you shouldn't even be worried about volatility because all of those, no matter what, will be going up if Bitcoin goes up, if ETH go up. You know, Soul, AVAX, and even some of these other newer layer twos, it's like those I feel like are kind of given to eventually go up. They might not do crazy returns, but definitely going to do pretty well. It's just, but those you just got to hold. I know those will do fairly well. Um, but again, yeah, even looking at ETH, the ETH chart looks super clean. But worst case, like I said, we do see some downside in the short term. I think we do potentially see, if we do, some downside, we see like, you know, maybe one more major final wake down to lows. This is on ETH, but, um, you know, and I think after that, we might see heavy downside and then more consolidation and more consolidation and more consolidation for probably another month or two, you know, <coughs> before a full out sentiment picks back up in the market, but... Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Like this almost looks like it's trying to play out something like this. Not a full out wick down, but you know, it came trending down, bounced, 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 and then boom. You know, we're kind of on that. If you want to consider this, but let's say like one, two, you know, maybe we hit this, come back down a little bit, bounce, and then we bounce up again. But bottom line on the weekly on large time frames, the whole market still looks insanely bullish. And I think if we do see even more downside, it's still going to be even more bullish. You know, if worst case we saw this, you know, like this makes the chart look even better, in my opinion. You know, if we had a nice push to the downside underneath like previous support areas and then right back into it, you know. But right, alts are going to get killed doing that, which is tough. But, you know, I wish I had a crystal ball, you know, to tell everyone, yeah, you should have sold up here bought back in but you know it's it's better to just be in top altcoins than to be sidelined in my opinion because again no one knew that this tiny dip from bitcoin over the last what two months would drop altcoins like 90 percent right bitcoin's barely really moved to be honest um you know but the same thing is like whether you knew that or not, I still believe it's better to be in the market than out and continuing to just slowly add because eventually once this really breaks, altcoins will go nuts and they will, I think most of them will recover, you know, unless you're in some coins that were very questionable and you know they were very high risk, then yeah, there's a good chance those might not recover unless, you know, certain influencers just randomly pick them up or, you know, random things like that. People on Twitter just you know, start popping off on it. But yes, you know, this, I don't even know what you'd want to call this kind of video, but, you know, I'm just trying to keep everyone level-headed in this market, you know, because it is obviously very difficult and emotionally, 
you know, to see downside like this for like, you know, an extended period of time when you know you have a good amount of your capital, you know, allocated in the market and just to see it go down, like, you know, it, it takes a toll on a lot of people. But being numb to this kind of long term volatility is what, you know, that's what makes the crypto investor, in my opinion. You know, just going through the ups and downs, ups and downs. You know, not necessarily going from here all the way down here, holding through a bear market and then waiting again. You know, even though many people have done that, you know, I did that with NFTs last cycle. Um, you know, but it's just, it's part of the game. Volatility is nuts in this market. It's really part of the game. And again, we are still in a steady bull market, you know, it's going to move in waves. And until the wave really comes crashing down, you know, it's, it's going to just continue like that. So it's just like, keep, keep steady on course. That's where we're going. My target is still at minimum 90, 92 K upwards of, you know, maybe 120 K. Like, I, I don't think Bitcoin's going to go to 200 K, 300 K. Like I know some people claim it's going to go that high. This cycle, I just feel like everyone is everyone is expecting it to go to 100k, multiple 100k, like go crazy, just like we saw last cycle, but it never did. And I have a feeling it's may do something similar again. You know, I feel like at at 100k, if we hit 100k, there could be a huge rejection or something. Definitely going to be insane volatility right around this level, but at the same time, I think if we hit six figures and it just continues or something, that's when we're gonna see full out retail jumping back in. Once everyone hears, oh my God, Bitcoin's at 100K, lots of people are going to be looking at the market and wanna jump back in. That's my personal opinion. And I think honestly, just as we see Bitcoin continue to go into price discovery, you know, in over 75, 76, 80K, I do think a lot of new investors are gonna start jumping in also. But yeah, I, I, I think especially at 100K, when a lot of people hear that, everyone's going to check it out, look at it, and be like, oh my God, wow. And then everyone's going to be proven wrong. You know, I thought Bitcoin was going to go to zero, never recover. Like, you know, the classic bot mentality that everyone has outside of crypto. But then they're going to jump in and realize, wow, I missed all these gains again. What can I catch when Bitcoin's at 100K, when we're all trying to cash out, you know? But yeah, I'm kind of just rambling today, just about random stuff in the market, but let's jump into a few alts. So I'm going to show you guys again, AI still is my, one of the top utility narratives, you know, like I really do love meme coins. I'm getting very heavily into meme coins lately. Uh, meme coins, AI, Bitcoin, DeFi, RWA, crypto gaming, but honestly, crypto gaming has been a letdown for me this whole cycle. You know, I've invested in, you know, multiple gaming projects, but I've just not seen a thing yet. And obviously a lot of it could be the coins I'm picking, but just that narrative as a whole, I feel like it just hasn't had that, you know, the catalyst slash that major narrative pump. You know, I think it did for a little bit uh, a few months ago. I don't remember when, I don't know if it was like uh, November, December, January or something, but. I know a lot of gaming coins absolutely ripped, but outside of that, it's just been, you know, most coins haven't recovered yet from those major pumps, you know, even though that's pretty much most, almost every narrative has had a, a mini pump to a major pump, you know, AI had its run, Bitcoin DeFi had its run, BRC 20s, you know, we had um, RWAs had a small pump as well. But yeah, for some reason, crypto gaming has just been, in my opinion, a letdown just for me. And again, it just could be my own, my own bias, my own thoughts, you know, my own trades that I've taken, but it's just my opinion, which is why I'm not as bullish on gaming as I am AI and memes uh, for this cycle right now. But again, it doesn't mean gaming is not going to perform. It's still probably going to be a top performing narrative outside of anything, but, um, so let's jump in a few AI. 
some of my favorite AI coins. You know, and so we got OXO. You know, this one I've just been had. I've had this on my radar a lot more recently because it is one of the strongest. I think um, socially, the social consensus around this project is that it is a very strong AI project. It has one of the cleanest, most bullish charts I've seen in a long time in crypto. You know, even the, if this comes back down, which it looks like it may, you know, continue to trend and might break this, pull some sort of liquidity grab, bounce again, have a run, you know, could pull something kind of like that. Would not be surprised. But I'm um, very bullish on this project. OXO AI, AI smart contract auditor. You know, I think it has to do with like privacy AI stuff like that but anyone and everyone i think that has heard about this has talked about it they know it's fairly bullish so i feel like you can't go wrong with this you know again keep in mind this is not a buy signal video do your own research please but um, as this comes down again it can come down heavily you know when i make these videos i know a lot of you guys sometimes you blindly ape into certain things i talk about when I'm telling you right in your face that there's a good chance it could come down a lot more. This is not at an entry. You know, in my opinion, it could be. Like if you DCA, 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 you know, the goal of it eventually is once full euphoria is back, you know, all these little moves aren't going to look like much because once we pump like this, you know, it's not going to matter if you bought here, 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 here. But keep this stuff in mind as I'm, you know, talking about this. Because in the short term, yes, you might, you know, if you're jumping in when I'm saying be cautious, you know, this could come down another 30, 40, 50 percent, you know, it could go all the way back down to support here. All right. So please keep that in mind. Like these genu genuinely are not supposed to be by signal videos. You know what I'd like people to do if you're literally watching these videos, go to CoinGecko, put these and make a make your own account. Put these in like your own watch list section, you know, come up with your own thesis if you like it and, you know, put a, what I would do is just put a buy limit order on an exchange or something, wherever you think it could potentially dump to, wait it out, do something like that. Because worst case it does hit, you get a beautiful entry in a long-term hold of a gem project, you know, and you know, you got a good entry and from there it's like, just hold it, you know? But, you know, and for me, I never like buying things that pump, but this is obviously pumped and it's starting to come down. So I, I, th I do think it has a little bit more to come down, worst case, but um, that's OXO. Uh, another one is NKI, as you guys know. Still one of my top AI coins for the cycle. This is one of my biggest AI bags in crypto right now. You know, and I've been holding since, you know, we talked about it at launch down here, down here, bought in again here, DCA multiple times on the way down, you know, I haven't DCA this area yet, but more than likely will. But yeah, I think NKI is a gem of an AI project, just a very strong working utility. And I think the, um, the use case potential for having just a strong LLM. You know, I, I don't think there's any, there's not too many AI projects, one that even have a good utility, working utility, into like a strong longer term growth potential for an AI product, you know, in the market of crypto, in Web3 and outside of Web3 also. That's why I'm so bullish on it. You know, obviously the chart doesn't look too good, but, you know, that's the risk I'm taking being in this project. And again, I have conviction, I've developed conviction over months of time, you know, and that's, that's what I'm sticking to. And that's how you really win long term in this market is that conviction, you know, that is my highest conviction AI project or one of them. But another new one I've talked about, I made a video on this before it launched, but another one is actually Spectral. Spectral, I think is a great project. Yeah, this one is finally coming back down to a potential entry zone. You know, I think a DCA area 
would be anywhere in between maybe like nine dollars to like six if fra if this continues in this general zone general area you know i think longer term this is gonna have a great run and i looked into the tokenomics of this which i said in my last video when i talked about it that was the one thing i was questioning but the tokenomics do look good for spectral um you know and most of their vesting and unlocks won't happen for like close to a year if not like a year or more so what that means is that most of the tokens that um are kind of locked are going to stay locked for a long period of time and why that's important in my opinion is because the uh, token unlocks and these circulating supply is not going to change that much for the duration of this bull run you know when we're mid 2025 when unlocks start happening you know maybe not for this project but in general you know no one's going to be trying to buy and ape these projects when you know for a fact we're already in a bear market right so you can literally avoid half half of that stuff if you see unlocks happening a year out that's a very bullish thing so keep that in mind if you're ever looking into tokenomics but spectral i've actually not added to this but I, I think this is a top definitely a top newer ai project that launched you know like i said i've been waiting for this one for like a month or two and i'm glad it's out glad the tokenomics do look good and i'm glad it's on a retrace because this is absolutely perfect in my opinion so more than likely i'm going to be adding to this i have called this in our in the group 100 percent. this is it but you know what you know sometimes especially in a market like this guys like i don't want to like gatekeep a lot of these calls all this stuff you know i want everyone to be seeing some good opportunities on the market but again it's still very high risk you know we could see this continue down continue to trend down like worst case for some reason so allocate small but i really do like this project a lot and I'd say those three AI for right now, you know, those are fairly solid AI picks in my opinion. Obviously there are 20, 30 different more, but this video is already getting pretty long. So I'll probably make another video soon talking more about, you know, just a full list of different coins, different narratives that I think have a ton of growth potential. And that's what I got for you guys today. So, you know, just... Kind of just sharing my thoughts today in the market on random stuff, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are in any of these projects, if you're thinking about allocating into them. Let me know below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.